Hi, welcome back to my channel. Here is Volodymyr Katansky and you are on the Freelancer CEO Journey podcast. Today, I want to talk about a very interesting topic on how to secure the right outsourcing partner or vendor. This is very uh, complicated and challenging area, but there are three common items that I don't see much when it comes to the blogs and articles on the web. So if you're interested, stay on this video and let's find out more. So you ended up in need to hire a right software development provider. And there is so many options. You don't want to end up being ripped off or finding the wrong partner then, um, you know, with the need to rewrite everything from scratch when you find out it's too late. So there are three items that helped me over the, my career when I acted as a client in this um, game. So first of all, it's credibility or reputation. Um, it usually comes in the different flavors. You can find a lot of companies on the independent resources sources like Clutch or AppWork, and it might serve as a good um, as a good starting point. However, there is a lot of tricks. For example, Clutch um, Clutch's b uh, business model um, running around uh, the sponsorship, and that means the companies you see on the top might be just the companies which paid uh, for the advertisement and they are not necessarily the best. So the trick here is to pay attention to the filters uh, for which the companies are presented to you and make sure you have something like rate related and uh, do not just look straight at sponsored first. Second is that more often than not, the companies that are in the top list might not be uh, available or might be too expensive for the startup. So it's important to focus on the companies that are uh, friendly to startups. Or if you are in, in enterprise, uh, make sure they have a good portfolio of enterprise projects or similar solutions. So this is something I call credibility, something that might confirm the expertise of the potential vendor for your business. So let's say you want to build a chat. If you want to build a chat, which is very uh, complex technology and often underestimated, heavily underestimated, um, you need to find uh, some vendor who already built the chats in the past. And it's very important that they have some example in the production environment. Even though I have to admit, if you build some great product, uh, sometimes they can't be found on the production because of the business related, not technology related issues. Uh, business just didn't uh, go well. And then um, the vendor in question doesn't have something to show. Unfortunately, if such a uh, case exists, it's very hard to prove if this specific vendor is credible. And I would just uh, prioritize those who can uh, show uh, the real applications first. So if the previous item is checked, let's move on. The next item is technology or right skill set. You can find a lot of technologies and you might not have enough background or reliable technology partner, which we're going to talk a little bit later on uh, to find out if this specific technology is good for you. But this is essential and it goes second in priority because the right technology will define the future of your business. If you're kind of testing or validating the idea and you are like don't care much about the future that might not be uh, that important like you want to validate the idea fundraise and then you are sure that very high chances um, you can rewrite the solution and it won't harm the business plan in this case it might be um, postponed into the decision making process but uh, if you see that this product um, in your vision gonna scale, gonna grow. It's extremely important to take into account the performance of the technology, the market of the uh, developers, because uh, even if technology is great, you might end up uh, not having anyone who can work on that or find it overly expensive. So for this exact item, it's very essential to have a proper research in the beginning, or uh, you can hire someone who can help you navigate, someone unbiased. it. Next goes price and quality ratio. This is a very tricky component. 
and it should always go last. So first of all, it's very important to confirm the credibility through the either reputation or the relevant project's expertise. Second is for technology and only then touch this point. First of all, this space is tricky because there is a lot of um, options to manipulate the price. For example, the real cost of average uh, senior software engineer uh, could be around 50 uh, United States dollars in Europe. And this can't go lower. Uh, if it goes lower, something is literally wrong here and should uh, act as a red sign. Now you can ask how then some agencies offers the lower amount. They might mix the talents like seniors and juniors together. Uh, seniors takes more complicated tasks, juniors or middle engineers takes uh, less complicated tasks. And this can create the illusion that you actually have a great deal. Uh, but in reality, it is not uh, that simple. So it's important to have a proper communication with the vendor and understand in details uh, this transparency. For example, in Startup Craft, we have something called master rates. So every hour of engineer is including um, the quality assurance and project manager rates. It's uh, made this way so we can ensure the uh, quality of the overall delivery. If we just sell the developer's hour, someone has to manage and if end mismanagement um, might create uh, the illusion that the technical aspect of the job is bad, but in reality it can be management. Or for the quality assurance aspects, some bugs can be, cannot be found easily by engineer uh, because of the um, way uh, the specialty work. Quality assurance engineers are, doesn't have any cognitive or uh, load or uh, BAs uh, around the specific solution and can, and can find something that developers can't. So this is very important uh, that vendor um, explains uh, explains this to you and breaks down those rates uh, so you can have a more uh, transparent uh, picture and here goes the bonus point so this is the initial approach this is very important because uh, if you go hire some vendor and they just take your money start doing something to me it's totally incorrect why? Because every business is unique and to understand that you need to invest time. So um, the vendor can do some initial investigation, but how they can guarantee the estimation are precise. It's either they put a big buffer on top of the price, which is more uh, known as ballpark estimate, or they take in a huge risks uh, of not delivering on time or within the budget which might be the problematic for both parties involved. So in Startup Craft, we created something that's called Blueprint. And this approach, I believe, should be employed by every agency um, which care about the results and not just billing hours. So what it looks like, we dedicate the best talents we have in the company to work on the research and solution architecture of, the, um, of your business challenge. So in other words, we are doing an analytical job and we are applying our experience to visually represent how the end product would look like on the structural level. So we go over every business feature and um, making sure we have a good understanding. If our um, vision matches at this point, so we understand your vision of the business and we can prove that with this schematic documentation, then we are way more certain about the estimations we provide and we can produce high precision estimation in the end. So if you found the vendor which has some unique process that guarantees the higher results, this is the way to go. Um, one mini bonus item I would add to this equation is that if company is ready to provide the refund in the very beginning, it also shows that their position is very resilient and they are confident in the results they provide. Um, there might be some other unique options, but you gotta be uh, attentive with uh, understanding the whole process first. Congratulations to making to the end of this video. So if all the items above are checked, you are on the good way to find a strong software development provider. This is a very tricky area and um, I would recommend on a general basis to invest a smaller amount of money, hire a technical consultant who can be unbiased and help you avoid all of this pain that might end up wasting a big dollar. Um, the key component here 
is to find either someone who can become a part of your business like on equity basis or just independent consultant so there are no interest for this person in the future let me know in the comments if this was helpful like if you enjoy this video subscribe in order not to miss any future updates and i see you in the next episodes